Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. There is a companion book by Barbara Moore, if you're interested. Um, this way. There's a website, Llewellyn.com, if you're interested there. Feel free to freeze frame and do as you will, if you want to, naturally. Supportive Oracle Cards, You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. There's a website for them too, naturally if you're interested. Rockpoolpublishing.com.au is an Apple, use an umbrella. Okay, what do we have for Leo? Um, temporary. Temporary sadness. Um, you pick yourself up quick, that's for sure. I think that's great. I think it's a really good thing. Now, there is, there is some type of history, long-term history with this. So this is something that's been going on for quite a long time. I think it's hit its moment. So it's almost like this might be, this could be the end of a job, losing of a house, somebody leaving your life. It seems quite dramatic. Um, but once it's done, see, because I feel you have a very emotional, very strong emotional bond with this, whatever it is. Queen of Cups, which don't get caught up in the gender, with the Six of Cups, it's like you have a very strong bond. There's a long-term history with this. And something is just, I think something's leaving really quick. Somebody's making some type of decision or something like, and it's just, something is changing really fast. Um, it literally doesn't matter if you like it or not. That's what I'm getting. It's in somebody else's hand. This is something where in the past it was pretty good at times. Um, but this is something that it's doing what's right for it. Whatever this is, it's doing what's right for it. So it could be a person, might be a situation. Especially if it's like property involved or it's job involved. Some type of work thing. There's a decision being made here. It used to be good, but now it's serving itself and it's doing what it needs to do for itself. Okay, so it is. Um... It doesn't seem to be concerned. Whatever this is, is completely not concerned with how it affects you. When I'm getting a full card, it's the challenge card. Like I don't feel like, be it if it's uh, property or job, especially, even if it's a person, they don't seem to be concerned about how this affects you. Um, and it does upset you at first, definitely. Three of Swords with the Peace is telling me like, you don't like it, but there's nothing... The piece, I feel like, is saying there's nothing for you to do. They've made their decision. They've done what they've done. There's nothing I can do. Now, it could be somebody leaving in the sense of, like, you work with somebody and they leave. And they're just gone. Bye. Gotta go. You don't like it, but again, it's kind of like, it's... I don't get to make a decision there. They do what they have to do, and that's that. Um... There's a lot of interesting cards around this. You're not the only person who has an issue with this. But it seems like everybody's viewing it very similar to the way you are. They don't like it, but it doesn't matter. Um, because it, it's out of their control. Other people don't like it too, but they're, I feel like everybody's looking at it the same way. Like, uh, there's nothing for me to do about that. Doesn't matter if I like it, outcome is still the same. There's a lot of people trying to understand why and what and who. I feel like you're just kind of like, you know what? It came in quick. I didn't expect it. I don't even like it. But you know what? It's done. I don't I don't see you like allowing yourself to get too upset about it. Kind of like, hey, it just it happened. You're taking that tower moment. You're putting your, you're picking yourself back up. Everything seems to happen very fast, by the way. I feel like this situation just, it comes in out of the blue, happens, done, 
and you're just kind of like, I don't like it. And I feel like you're addressing that. You're very much on point. Like, yeah, I don't like it. If some of you might even have a moment where you grieve it, but you're going to accept it. Like, yeah, I'm upset about it. So maybe you're going to want, you're just going to have a moment. Where you might cry about it. I don't know why that's so strange coming in. Cause I feel like a lot of you, if you cry, it may be very private. It may be like late at night, you're off on your own and you're just, the emotions bubble up. You feel it through and you're like, well, there, I dealt with it. <laughs> kind of like, I just feel like you're very honest with yourself. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm upset about it. But you know what? <sighs> There's nothing for me to fix here. Um, you're very much in the power position. Kind of like, yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to address that. I'm going to move on from that. Um, is there something... No, what is that? The clearing out of this energy, it's not going to be bad for you. I don't know how that sounds. Because I'm getting, like, something's moving on. Like, this, the leadership makes me feel like something's flying right out. But then a new door opens for you, and then you become the strength again. Like, I know it's the king, which... It doesn't have to be gender-centered, but I just feel like it's you taking control and just kind of like looking at it like, that happened, then I do this. Okay. Um, you're just, it's kind of like everything behind me has been wiped out. There's no reason for me to hang out here and cry about it. If I can salvage something, I would, but I don't think there is. So I'm just going to go on to my next vista. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to move forward. You seem to be moving on fairly quickly. Um... I feel like your energy is also inspiring others and you might even be trying to tell people like, listen, this place has been wiped out. It's done. Uh, I got a boat over here. Tomorrow I'm leaving. If you want to come, be on the boat. If you don't, I'm going to be gone. So there's no, there's no dickering around with it. Tomorrow I'm, I'm leaving. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to go with me, be on the boat tomorrow. I'm leaving at eight o'clock in the morning. You just, you're either there or you're not. And I feel like that's your energy. Kind of like, listen, I'm not going to stay around here and cry about it for the rest of my life. It happened. I don't like it. And I'm probably going to have to take some time to grieve over it over the time. But I'm not going to sit here and just wait for the emotions to bubble up. I got to go. Tomorrow, I'm going to be, I'm going to get on that boat. I'm going to go. I got a boat. I'm leaving tomorrow at 8 a.m. You want to go? Come on. You don't want to go? Fine. I'm going though. I'm not negotiating. I'm just letting you know. You can come if you want. And that's what you're telling other people. You can come if you want. You got justice here. Not everybody's going to be ready to let go, but I feel like you're going to have people come with you anyway. What I don't what are you supposed to do with that? Like what so people may, like, it's almost like, okay, people are getting on the boat and they're coming with you because they realize you're going now and that's just how it is. <laughs> they can either go with you or just be left behind. It's one of the two. You're not going to sit here and cry about it for the rest of your life. It just, I don't mean it to sound cold, but it's just kind of like just factual. Like I'm moving forward. You don't have to, but I am. Other people are coming with you. They're not over the grieving, grieving process. They're grieving it differently than you are. Um, I feel like they they understand where you stand. They're not expecting you to feel like they feel. You just keep moving forward and do what you have to do. Um, I feel like I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to address this. I feel like other people are gonna they're gonna be lingering with the grieving. Just keep going with what you have to do. Center on what you gotta do. Other people will help them like they need to. I don't, I mean, you could try to help them through that. I just don't know if it's going to match your energy. At best, if you notice somebody else hung up with the grieving and they just aren't moving forward, I feel like you can identify someone else who can relate to that better and just kind of direct them over to it. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. I hope they're making sense with that. It's just because it feels like somebody else is having it they're grieving it and they're just they grieve it differently than you i don't think this is something you can successfully navigate or help them navigate but you might have a reference or a resource that you can either direct them to or direct over to them 
they're saying go that route. It's better for you to go that route. Yeah, it's, it's good to know when it's better to, you know, offer somebody else or direct them to somebody else. You know, you are quite dynamic. You can get a lot done. Um, but they're a different flavor. Or they're much different flavor than you. I, I hope that comes across right. I hope I'm saying that right. Because I'm feeling like they're saying it's better for you and them to direct them in a different direction and let somebody else help them. The Sun card comes out. The situation will go forward. Everything will be fine again. It, you can get here a lot easier just knowing, like, I don't know. It's kind of like saying, you know, maybe you're a great artist, but you're not the best singer, just to be fair. So kind of like, all right, you take care of the artwork. The singing needs to be done. Direct somebody else. Like, here, they're a, they're a great singer. I'm not saying you are or aren't. I'm just, you know, maybe you're a great baker. You're not a great builder. So you, you create the meal, you direct somebody over, or vice versa in either of those situations. You know, stick with what you're good at. In this situation, at least, stick with what you're good at, direct it over to somebody else for they can handle the other stuff. It's, it can be the best of both worlds. That's all they're saying. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you decide you're going to, you can force yourself forward, obviously, if you want to, but it's just not going to come across, or it's not going to work out to the best. Um... And I also get, like, if that's if that's applicable for you, you know what you're good at and what you're not good at. So, whatever. Do what you got to do. I don't know why that's coming across so weird. It comes across very cold. I don't mean for it to, but it just, like, it's coming forward very, very cold, very cut and dry. You know what you're good at. You know what you're not good at. Like, I don't know many people that are good at everything. I don't know how to explain that. Like, how else can I put that? Like, some people are great athletes. Other people are great at academic things. Some people are good at both. But even if they're good at both, they could be great athletes, great at academics, but they're probably, there's something else they're not good at. We're not all good at everything. So I don't know what to say about that. I don't know why. It comes across very cold. So I hope it doesn't translate very, I hope it doesn't translate with apathy because I don't mean it to, if I'm using that right. But I'm going to leave it at there. You guys can work it through. I, I know the comments will let me know if I was right out of line. So I, you guys will let me know. I know you will. So <laughs> I'm going to let it go there. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. The name's the number four, astral at gmail.com. That's below. Um, the donation information is also below with the same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.